Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. It's Wednesday, new release review day here on the channel each and every Wednesday. Today, we're going to take a look at the uh, fairly new, it came out earlier this year here in 2023, uh, new album from this long-standing British progressive rock slash folk rock band who kind of debuted on the scene right during that kind of a second wave of British progressive rock in the early 80s, right? So, of course, you had Marillion and IQ and Palace and Twelfth Night and Pendragon and Solstice. Light Up is the name of their brand new album. Okay, let's take a look at this here. I was looking at, like, all the people who have uh, been in this band over the years. I did not know Clive Bunker was a member of Solstice at one point. Of course, Clive Bunker, the... Uh, drummer for Jethro Tull for a bit back in the uh, early 70s, right? So here, there is the band right there. Actually, I got some nice live shots in here. Okay, if you like Big Big Train, right, maybe mostly autumn, stuff like that. Great female, male and female vocals, lots of rich instrumentation uh, in the band. Andy Glass on guitars. Jess Holland on vocals, Peter Helmsley on drums, Steve McDaniels on keyboards, Jenny Newman on violin and viola, and Robin Phillips on bass. All right, and uh, they also, I guess, they must have done some kind of like crowdfunding or some sort of thing here. So they thank all of the uh, fans and contributors to the making of this album. And this follows up. Uh, Sia, which came out in 2020. So they've actually got a bunch of albums. So their first album, Silent Dance, came out in 1984. Then Nothing from the Band Till New Life in 1993. Circles in 1997. Spirit in 2010. Prophecy in 2013. Sia 2020. And now Light Up here. Plus they've got a couple live albums. And if you look at like the list of people who have been in the band, I mean, lots of, you know, they've had lots of lineup changes over the years. Lots of different singers and things like that. But uh, this is the current current uh lineup here so uh the album so again what is the music sounds like it's sounds like british for lack of a better term neo-progressive rock from the 80s or the certainly the early 90s has this very british sound there's lots of folk influences a lot of celtic things going on here a nice mix of keyboards and guitars and violin and things like that very very pleasing nice melodies uh you've only got six tracks on the album here light up is the title track that kicks it all off really nice i really dig a uh, wongle number nine i'm not sure quite sure what a wongle is but uh i really like that song it's a little bit more symphonic got some cool guitar work and i love the vocals are just amazing on the entire album uh she has got a really really nice voice and already i'm forgetting her name already is it jenny sorry jess jess holland um yeah really really nice singer there um what else we got uh mount f frame also really good track right there uh, most of the songs are fairly lengthy, right? So there's no like kind of two, three minute long little pop tunes on here. Then you have Run Home and uh, Bull Bull Tarang, which is the last track. That's a pretty adventurous song. I really dig that one quite a bit. And uh, production is really good. I'm just trying to see if I have any more information on this particular band here. Um, yeah, I mean, I like this. It's, it's a really nice listen. Uh, it's soaring melodies, dreamy soundscapes, uh, the interplay between the keyboards, the violin, and the guitars is really nicely well done, and uh, it's it's just a really nice listen. You know, if you're looking for more aggressive, heavier stuff, you're not going to get that here. But if you like the folkier aspects of uh, British progressive rock, I think you'll really dig this. The vocals are really really well done as well. So uh, it's an easy four out of five star review for me because it's like it's just a really enjoyable, enjoyable album. And again, it's called Light Up by Solstice. Long-standing band. For those of you who maybe were listening to some of this prog stuff in the early '80s and thinking, "God, whatever happened to Solstice?" Well, they've been around for a number of years, uh, pretty active, and they play live quite a bit. So, in fact, uh, one of the, one of the guys who's kind of associated with the band, he's the one who reached out to me, and he's like, "You know, we just got off tour. It was very successful. We played a whole bunch of dates and gigs and things like that. We'd love for you to review uh, the new album." So I was like, you know, "Happy," and he even sent me the uh, previous album as well. All right. There you go, and look at the artwork, right? So looks looks prog, right? Of course, uh, if it's not, I'd be surprised, but that looks like a Roger Dean 
creation right there or if, if he didn't do it it's someone who did something kind of like roger dean we've seen that before too so yeah check them out solstice light up is the brand new album and uh, i'll see if i can put a link down below of where you can go check out some of their music so uh, anyway check it out if you've already heard it let us know what you think of this album if you haven't go listen to it and then report back that's how we do these things right uh if, you, if any of the albums that I haven't talked about, we'd love to hear your opinion on them. So go give them a listen and then come back. And uh, in the comments below, put down what you think of Solstice. And uh, visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And click on that notification bell so you get alerted of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page. Thank you in advance for all your support there. And uh, we'll see you real soon here with more stuff, more reviews today. It is Wednesday. I hopefully should have a new Pat Metheny for you today. Uh, looking forward. I got a couple uh, kind of stoner, psych doomy type things I want to get to from uh, Rise Above or Heavy Psych Sounds or uh, Ripple Music. I forget where they, which label these ones are on. Uh, I got the new Eloy, the new Dozer, the new Agusa. Uh, I don't. I'm obviously not going to get to all those today. I got a new big big train. So over the next couple of weeks, we got lots of stuff sitting here. I'm waiting to get to. So uh, we'll get to them when we get to them right so thanks for watching everybody tune in for more reviews here on wednesday and i'll see you real soon i am p part of bye-bye